Hello, my name is Dr. James Johnson with Georgeco Incorporated. I'd like to share with you a specially prepared video that will demonstrate how to use our EDX. During this short presentation, we'll not only show you how to use this device properly, we'll give you many valuable tips that will help you use it more safely and effectively. Part of this video will also be devoted to help you with the care and use of this device, including cleaning and processing instructions. Jordco's endodontic diagnostic instrument, the EDX, is made up of three components. The handle, retentive plier tip, and the foam insert. To assemble the EDX, start by folding the plier tip in half and insert the folded portion into the opening in the handle until they snap into place. You will note that the plier tips are slightly open at the end. Hold the plier tips open and place a foam insert into the pliers. Make sure the foam insert is inserted at least halfway into the plier tips. Press the plier tips together to lock them into the foam insert. Using one of the readily available refrigerants on the dental market, we'll charge the foam tip. Foam tip is an open cell foam which will hold a large amount of refrigerant allowing you to cold test multiple teeth. Away from the patient, apply the refrigerant to the foam tip by spraying onto the foam on all sides. You will notice that the foam tip becomes frosty, indicating that the evaporative process is cooling the tip. Now we are ready to test some teeth. The EDX has a contra-angle design to the handle which allows you to test teeth in the posterior region. To test teeth, apply the cold foam tip to the teeth with light pressure. Additional pressure may be applied if needed. When the foam tip is charged appropriately with refrigerant, it will remain cold long enough to test multiple teeth without recharging. The EDX is a dual purpose instrument. On the opposite end of the handle is a pyramid shaped structure that can be used to test for fractures in teeth. The frac tester can be placed onto a tooth cusp and the patient bites down onto it with a rocking motion. If there's a crack or fracture within the tooth, often the patient will respond with a positive reaction, which indicate precisely where the fracture is located. After using the EDX instrument, the next step is to disassemble the plier tip from the handle. Simply grasp the plier tip and pull it out of the handle. The pliers tip and the foam insert are both single-use items and should be disposed of in a proper receptacle. The handle can be reused and can be sterilized using a cold solution approved by the EPA. Thank you for taking the time to view this information. I'd like to invite you to download a printable companion use guide found on our website. Our website is located at www.jordco.com.